In this tutorial, I will show you how you can customize our single blog post page using Elementor Pro. By default, we will get a blog post page like this page. So when we create any blog post in Elementor free version or Elementor, so we will get a single blog post like this. So in this tutorial, I will show you how you can customize this blog post page using Elementor Pro and finally we will get something like this and here also I will show you how you can get more flexibility and how you can customize our blog post as our own choice so without any further ado let's get started okay so here I have just created three simple blog post as test and now if I go to one blog post and I can see this is the default view of Elementor blog post and this time I'm using the Astra theme but now I want to redesign my blog post page with Elementor Pro so now I have already installed Elementor Pro if you don't have Elementor Pro I already leave the link below in my description if you buy Elementor Pro throw my link I will also get some commission so in this way you can help my channel okay so after installing Elementor Pro we can find a templates tab and then we have to go the theme builder and from here here is add new and choose template type so here we are going to create a template for single post and name your template so we can enter any name for example blog post and create template and here we can see here is already several pro template we can use this any one from here so we can use this one or this one okay so I'm going to use this one this is simple but neat and clean so I'm going to insert this one okay so this is our post here is showing the last one as example but it will work for all blog post by default so now here is the featured image if we click here we can see this is the featured image and this will change by dynamically with our blog post image and here is some more customization option we can change design alignment and all these common feature all these style options are available in here if you are familiar with elementor you will get all this point and here is author info here is current author or here is custom options also so if you have also multiple author in a blog and you want to write something custom author for example if you want to type your own name or another person name so you can edit that case from here or otherwise you can keep it as current author here is profile image here is profile name and here is also layout customization option as well and here is alignment and also we can customize all this text from style tab and next here is the blog post title so this is coming also dynamically from our blog post we can also customize the font style from here we can also decrease the text size sorry from here we can make it to 50 pixel or more smaller and here here is the post meta we can also customize this here is date time terms so if we don't want to show the category or time so we can remove it and here we can also customize all this as our choice and here the whole section is coming from blog post content so if you have some image text or anything you can see all this in this area and lastly here is the share this post we can also change the text 
from here and here is some social share button so we can also add more social item from here just select any network for example pinterest and here is the level so here we can type the name pinterest so i already used pinterest in top area so if we don't like to use anyone we can remove it from here and lastly here is the comment so this is by default is showing facebook comment so if someone has facebook account they can comment here using their facebook login or if you want to add a different comment area by default from wordpress you can also add this just click on this rubik cube icon and search for comment and here is the post comment so we can also add this one and this is the default blog post comment box by wordpress and if we don't like to use this one we can also remove this one and here here is fully flexibility for to add any design any sections if we want to add so for example if we want to add any image or any section just go to this rubik cube box and from here if we want to add any extra text just add below here or any position and we can also customize as our pages so this is fully customizable blog post area so we can easily customize or we can design as our own choice so now we can publish it and here is add condition so here if we want to add all singular so here we want to add this for all post and here is by default all so if we want to design a template for any specific post we can select it from here or also from here post in category and from here you can see specific category so now i want to show this template for all post and save and close okay so this is saved now and it will work for our blog post so now if i refresh my blog post okay so now you can see this blog post design is applied to our blog post page and here we can also customize this area as our own choice for example if we want to make this area full width with image we can also do that for example i'm going to edit this section going to full width so now we can see this image is covering the full area and also column gap no gap so it's now removing the small spacing and also if i want to remove the top space so here is some top margin added so i'm removing the top margin so now we can see it's started from our top area so now i'm going to update this one and now i'm going to refresh and here is still getting some issues with the image width so if we want to make the image full width so here you can see also the image size so we can make it to 920 or anything as our need then apply and update and then refresh and now you can see the image is taking the full width and a specific height and now when you scroll down you can see the content area is taking the full width but here we need to add some padding from left or right so again i'm going to edit this area going to advance and for padding first make it to unlink and for right side we can make it to 20 pixel or 30 pixel left right and left and saving it now refresh my page okay 
so here is more flexibility we can do we can customize our design as our own choice or from our own design skill so here is all for today if you think this tutorial adds some value to you please give this video a big thumbs up otherwise you may not find this kind of valuable tutorial next time and if you are new here like to see my more upcoming videos don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you and welcome to my next tutorial